And Rob is in hard hit Massachusetts for us this morning. Good morning, Rob. Rob, in this storm, it had it all. I mean, just insane amounts of snow, hurricane force wind gusts. And here along the coastline, just south of Boston, we had incredible waves that were banging up against this newly reinforced seawall and up and over this, this road and these homes, which in single digit temperatures, look at this, completely entombed, encased in ice. And it's just a surreal scene here, storm after storm, single digit temperatures here again. But looking at this, just a surreal scene that highlights just how explosive and historic this storm was. This morning, the Northeast digging out after that vicious nor'easter slammed the region. Massachusetts bearing the brunt of the storm, the blizzard dumping more than 30 inches of snow in some parts of the state. Snowplow drivers working round the clock since Friday night. White out. You couldn't see five feet in front of you. History made in Boston. The city tying its record for the biggest one day snowfall Saturday at 23.6 inches. Is that your car? Yeah. Man, it's buried. Oh, yeah. In coastal regions like Brant Rock, entire neighborhoods blanketed in ice after getting lashed by powerful waves. Frozen seawater clinging onto houses and this church. In Nantucket, the streets choked with icy storm surge on the island, inundated with three feet of water at the storm's peak, driven by damaging winds of over 70 miles per hour, and the blizzard wreaking havoc on travel plans. More than 5,000 flights canceled this weekend. The storm unrelenting from Maine to Rhode Island to Connecticut through New York. Not melting this morning, that's for sure. Seven degree temperature with wind chill below a zero. I talked to the man that's actually living in this house. They got the power back on. They slept here. Uh, he said the, uh, the, the heat's on and he did fine. He's a brave guy. Pretty brave guy to have a Buffalo Bills flag also flying here <laughs> in southeast Massachusetts. Warm up coming, but not soon enough. We were Rob thinking Matthew. just that. All right. Thanks, Rob. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.